Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a shadow box to use for ticket stubs from concerts, sports games, and movies. Um, so I'm going to tell you what you need to do this project and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So first you need to find a good shadow box. I got this one at Michael's and I was really excited when I found it. Um, it's black and sparkly and it has this cool like scroll design and I thought it went really well with a theater theme. I also got some of these uh, sticker letters from Michaels as well and I really like the font. Just pick something that you know you like the font and the color of. I also have a pencil, a metal ruler, um, an exacto knife, scissors, scrapbook paper, and super glue. And then my shadow box came with these cool little brads that I'm also going to use for my design. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first we have to come up with our design. So I played with the little designs before um, I actually picked the one I wanted. So I, you know, decided maybe I could use a border, so I cut these strips. And then I decided maybe it's too much for my design. So, you know, just use your creativity and your imagination and find what works for you. Um, I went on Photoshop and I made two tickets and I just changed, you know, the names of my boyfriend and me and then our birth dates to use. And then I cut out from scrapbook paper just a black, simple design. Um, I made it seven and a half by seven and a half and then I rounded the corners. So I'm going to use this right in the middle of my um, frame. So I prefer super glue. I'm really in love with super glue right now because it works with anything and it dries really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing the ticket down at the top of my paper and then I'm going to glue the, um, the letters down. Now I know it has a sticky back, but just to make sure, I'm going to add a little glue to um, make sure it's secure. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing some. And then I'm ready to adhere my letters. So I'm going to turn this around so I can make sure it's straight. And I'm going to say admit two instead of admit one, just because this is from my boyfriend and I, and there's two of us. So I just thought it was a cute play on words. So I cut them out from the backing just so I could make sure, you know, to make them straight and have the correct spacing. So that's basically what it's going to look like when I get done. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my middle letter of admit and make sure that's in the middle first. So that would be the M. And I'm going to add some more glue just to make sure. And then just go ahead and continue doing this for the entire um, phrase that you're going to okay. say. So I finished with my design and I just decided to off-center the two part just because I thought it looked better. So just use your judgment and your creativity to find a design that works for you. So now um, I'm going to place it onto my board and I'm going to leave a, quite a bit of room at the top just because I have a scroll design on my frame and I don't want it to block my design. So make sure it's in the center and then I'm going to use the brads that I showed you earlier to adhere it to my um, board. Now if you don't have the brads with you, you can just use something like fabric glue or tacky glue and I think you know that would work fine. So just go ahead and punch them in all four sides and then you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm ready to put this um, aside and then cut my hole out of my frame. So depending on what your 
shadow box is made out of. Um, you're going to need a couple of different tools. Mine is made out of particle board, so I'm going to be using the drill and then a jigsaw. If you're not comfortable with using power, power tools, um, just go ahead and ask somebody that is to help you with this next part. Okay, so now we're ready to make the hole in the top of our shadow box. So first you're going to want to find the middle point. So my box is about 11 inches, so the middle point is five and a half. So I'm going to use a red Sharpie because my box is black, so black won't work. So I'm just going to put a little dot at five and a half. And then I'm going to do a three inch hole. So I'm going to make it an inch and a half over this way and then an inch and a half over this way. So let's count an inch and a half. So I'm going to put another dot. And then I'm going to do an inch and a half this way. Okay. And then for ticket steps, they're pretty, um, they're pretty thin. So I'm thinking a quarter of an inch opening it will be enough. So let's go ahead and measure this way. It's two and a half inches. So do about an inch and a quarter would be half. So yeah, my dot's pretty much right there. So I'm going to just draw little lines on either side and then I'm going to um, make an actual rectangle on my box so I know where to cut. Okay, so if you can see that, I have a rectangle. You can go ahead and grab a cordless drill and drill some holes through the top. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Make sure you either secure this so that it doesn't fall over or have a friend um, help you hold the base so it doesn't uh, move when you try to drill it. we cut the hole with a jigsaw. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you prefer. Um, I've decided that I'm going to paint the inside of the hole so that it's not as noticeable. So you're going to need a paintbrush and some black paint. Craft paint will do. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, I'm going to hold a paper towel underneath it so that I don't get any um, paint on my glass. So go ahead and keep doing this until your, uh, you can't tell anymore and it's all black. So I already finished painting the inside of the hole and as you can see you can't even tell that it's there. So it looks pretty good and I'm ready to assemble my shadow box. So go ahead and lay it down and make sure you wipe it down before you assemble it. Um, I've already done that so I'm going to go ahead and put in my design. So just lay it in the shadow box like that. And there you go. So all you need is a ticket or two and just slip it in like that. And there you have your shadow box. I hope you have as much fun making yours as I did mine.